I've been through a many, many hurricanes in my life, folks. I've been through a lot of hurricanes staying here um, in the panhandle of Florida. So I don't really get too spooked out from these things. But at the same time, I respect any kind of storm because any storm on any given day has the ability to cause destruction. So I'm not going to sit up here and say that I don't respect them, but I don't fear them either. You know, the Bible tells us to be of good courage and to not fear anything and to trust in the Lord for all things. This video, I want to talk about a subject that I touched on months ago, like maybe around April, May. And I feel like it needs to be revisited. Sometimes we have to revisit certain subjects because they say repetition is the best teacher, right? Okay. Did you see the title, the thumbnail? Universe cannot help you. You know, I've been seeing people mix spirituality and new age teaching with Christianity. People that I know who are self-professing Christians who believe in the Lord, who believe in Jesus, have been saying things that are kind of suspect. And I read a post this morning that said it was a quote said, you know, you didn't, they didn't leave you. I removed them from you to create a better pathway. Quote, universe. That's what it said. Basically, she shared a post, this woman shared a post. Of the universe telling her that no one left her, but the universe took people away to help her create a, you know, a better pathway. I just don't understand, folks. I don't get why people feel that Jesus is not enough. I don't understand why people feel they have to intermingle the universe. And I'm talking to Christians. Now, people of the world, they do what they do. They've always worshipped false gods and graven images and deities. They've always done these things. But why is it that Christians have to bring in foolishness like this? Why in the world, even if you believe in the Lord, would you even share things like that to insinuate that you believe that the universe actually has some sort of majestic power to bless you or to help you? All that does is create division and strife, and it's questionable with your walk with the Lord. I've said it once, I'll say it again. The universe has no power. It is empty space that God created. It does nothing, nothingness. It is the grounds in which fallen angels travel to and fro to earth and back. That's all the universe is. It's beautiful, folks. Nice to look at, but it has no power. It can't talk to you. It can't bless you. It can't do nothing. It's just there. But yet, we got folks out here that worship the universe. It's like times of old, people of, of the, um, of like Indian tribes and stuff like that, they are really heavy into worshiping nature. Like worshiping trees, worshiping the stars, worshiping the sun and the moon, all of that stuff. The Bible says that we are to not put anybody above God. 
Thou shalt not put any of the gods before him. For there is only him. There's only one. One God. But the devil has made it to where people believe that there are many, many ways to heaven. Many ways to worship God. No, there's only one way and it's through Jesus Christ. And people hate that. They absolutely hate to hear that. Because that means... There needs to be some doing on their end. There needs to be some repentance. There needs to be some changing of lifestyles. There needs to be a suppression of wickedness in their hearts. When we start talking about Jesus Christ, but when we talk about Buddha, we talk about the universe, none of that stuff mentions anything about, re about having to change. None of that stuff mentions anything about repentance, which is why people hate to bring Jesus into the picture. But the Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man shall come to the Father except through me. You can pray to the open skies as much as you want to, but the sky cannot help you. People say that it is crazy for us to believe in a creator to believe in a God, but they want to pray to the universe. God said that in the book of Romans, that people, that, that there would come a day that they would worship the creation more than the creator and they shall be deceived for doing so. Because the creation does not judge you. The creation does not condemn you. The creation does not tell you about yourself, which is why people opt for praying to the universe. The cosmos, the gods are watching over us. The star gods, Pyro and Zeus and all of this fairy tale stuff. Like you got to be crazy to believe that. Seriously. Come on, folks. Stop intermingling new age teachings with Christianity. Stop intermingling spirituality with Christianity. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's not. It's dangerous. Again, God said, thou shalt put no other gods before me. Do you think he was playing around? Do you think he was bluffing? Do you think he was joking? Are you kidding me? The universe has no power. It cannot bless you. It cannot bring good things to you. It cannot talk to you. It cannot hear you. It's just space. There is nobody there. Nobody. Nobody. Unless you're praying to fallen angels or demons or something, but the, the, they can't hear you. The, the, the universe can't hear you. So stop it. Please stop it. Maybe it's somebody out there who's watching this and you are into new age practices. Or maybe you're into spirituality. Let me give you the gospel. First Corinthians chapter 15 verses one through four is the gospel. Jesus came to earth, the only begotten son of God, the perfect lamb, blemish free, walked this earth sinless, sacrificed, for the sins of the world, for me, for you, for everybody. He died on the cross, became a curse. Because the Bible says he that is nailed to a tree is cursed. He was buried and rose three days later, defeating death, taking the keys of both hell and death. And now he is the one that has the name above all names. And Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. All we have to do is believe that the Lord fought that battle for us and that he defeated sin for us and that his sacrifice was enough. All we got to do is believe that and we will be saved. That's all you have to do to come to Christ. Come to Christ and allow him to give you eyes to see and ears to hear and a boldness of a lion to step into the den of the world to preach the word and allow him to do a good work in your life. Stop this foolishness with the universe. The universe don't have no power, folks. None. None. 
trust me, it's, it's a waste of time. People will try and argue with you about this. They will try to reason and they will try to justify why they're all right. But I tell you at the end of the day, when you take your last breath, it is not the universe that you will stand before. It is God Almighty that you will stand before. He that has created the universe. It is him that will pass judgment on you. And he will let you know that he is the only one on the throne. And that the universe is in his hands. You are worshiping something that is in the hands of God. Stop it. Enough with the idol worship. It has to stop. Because it leads people straight to hell, folks. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there because you choose to pray to the universe. You don't want to go there because you choose to believe in karma. You don't want to go there because you choose to be spiritual. Come on now, stop it. Stop it. Accountability must be put in place. Repentance must take place. Turn from your wicked ways. Live righteous and holy. Amen. God bless you all. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.